everyone, welcome back. Do you like my hat? I do. I got it off of forgotten. That's because finally downstairs the mob spawner is working. I'm so happy. Uh on stream, what you may have missed is many things. Uh largely progression. I apologize for the lag, my computer does not like loading things and actually then loading them. Uh, in between, since last stream, I've dug out a lot of this just to give myself a bit more space. I keep wanting to just expand and expand, but it's so tedious building, uh, digging out the space and then moving all the things and then digging out more space and moving all the things. Secret project in mind, so I don't want to, you know, go overboard because a secret project is going to solve some of these problems. So uh, a lot of these were done. I've automated slightly this um, resin here. So now the resin goes into the fractionating still. Uh, are you stopping because of this? Oh, I need to make sure you're pulling rosin out. We should look at that. Uh, which this creates tree oil, unless it's stopped getting that out and it continues. <clears throat> this with the biofuel, of which we have some. Let me get this out of my... Which we have some. You know, we can keep filling this up. This is um, <clears throat> filling that up for me. I used a universal cable here because I also wanted to get water in. This is also not automated. Um, but this is one of the things that I have done is I can go across to the other place uh, and get some of my resin from the tree taps. Fill this up. So that's automated. And this is producing something. It goes up there. Uh, the, the crude oil, I think. <clears throat> yeah, so this is producing crude oil. So I've got a fractionating still that I put up here. All of this was downstairs. I do have a buffer. Uh, that's because I kept accidentally filling this thing up with oil, so I just put it in the middle, uh, it's fine. This is extracting all of its stuff via item pipes into this chest here. Everything, uh, just draw. Everything's going into this drawer, all this stuff has been pulled out. All of these machines into that drawer. I have solved the problem of this only getting light oil and this one only getting heavy oil by using the Pretty Pipes mod instead, which can pull. So I've asked it to retrieve heavy oil from here. Uh, and this one's retrieving white oil from there. And then this, the pyrolyzer, which is a very manual thing still. So, oh, by the way, I have reinstated my uh, external microphone. Up until this point, I've been using the one in my headset, which I've now muted. I'm not sure if I've got the levels correct. Uh, I had it set to try and pick me up, but not the motorbikes that keep going past really loudly. But if I've done it wrong, I apologize. Please leave feedback. I'll try and fix it. Uh, but based on the levels that I'm seeing, it's probably actually slightly loud. So <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Um, this is a, a manual process to make the coke that I need for the steel, and to make uh, the steel is used to make the soul steel, which I'm using a lot of still. So uh, these are all also being drained by this fluid pipe into all of these. So now I've got six and room for more. Um, compression dynamos, all of which are full of refined, refined fuel. And the reason I've done it that way is if you have a look at the thermal expansion, uh, I can't remember if I was too lazy or gated away from the upgrade thingy. So a hardened integral component is gold gears, which you can actually do now. Uh, I think the last time I looked at this, we were not at the gold level. But the next one is signalum, which is silver. Silver is the thing we still don't have. Uh, we're gated away from that, but we can upgrade all of these if we wanted to with a hardened thing. Maybe I'll do that uh, off camera now. And I've put the redstone flux out, which you've seen before, and I've set up this thing. So this was one of the things we did uh, during the stream, I think, or at least I was starting to do it before the stream. I got a lot of it done on stream. Uh, I've made these data models. I've made one for the wither skeleton, and this thing in my hand that I had before contains four more data models, a spider, enderman, blaze, and skeleton. You'll see in the top left, that I require three more spiders, 10 more, I don't actually need 10 more um, endermen. That would be to improve the data model if I wanted to do it manually, but I don't have to. I've got a spare model, so I could use one. So I've set up zombies, I've set up endermans, and I've set up wither skeletons, and I am now trying to get whatever else. I can find there are no models for certain extra things. There's no models for, I was gonna say drowned, but it's not drowned. There's something else spawning near the zombies. Uh, and there's no data model for the Forgotten. That's a told that that is a um, modded mob. So there's no data models for those. But this is going to be able to um, produce for us the 
drops that you get from vanilla hostile mobs. Okay, so it's also going to drop these things. So I've got the generalized overall prediction, the generalized nether prediction. And I do have now a selection of generalized nether prediction. It, it was right there. But the quest wants me to get this one. So I actually need to put the zombie, or probably, into the thing. So I'll do that in a minute. Um, just catching you up. What else have we done? I'll go to the tree and show you. We've fixed the problem with these tree taps. These tree taps that I spent all that time trying to fix are now working. Why? Because you need a piece of dirt underneath the tree. I don't say that, but it is a fact. This is me accidentally bone mealing the wrong thing. Um, it doesn't tell you that you need dirt for it to count as a tree because presumably trees are always on dirt. But if trees are always on dirt, why? I, I think it's to stop you from building a tree. But you can't build a tree because if you place leaves down, then they don't have the decay metadata, so they don't count anyway. So I don't know. If you break the dirt under the tree, it stops working. Don't do it. Because these are grown on moss. So there you go. Job done. Uh, what I want to do today, I want to try and get through some more of the quests. We've got plenty of progression to get on with. So the Soul Forge quest line is not yet complete because we need a Nether Star, and I'm a little bit leery of fighting a Wither with just a forgotten hat on. So I want to get some good armor. Let's just look for chest plate. Um, there is the steel one from Mechanism. Is there a netherite one? Yes, there's a netherite one. As we could make a netherite one. And I want to be able to enchant it, but I don't know how to get enchantments except for by accident. Because, oh, and you need diamonds for that. So, anyway, uh, if we can, you know, make them better. But I think the wither might be doable with just netherite chest. They're not expensive. So we don't have diamonds yet. We're doing this, uh, the deepest part, which is this flux network stuff. Uh, I got quite far through this. In fact, one of the things we'll be doing today is making this or try to upgrade tier 3. Uh, let me also show you changes that I've made to baddies 1 and baddies 2. Baddies 1. Here. Um, I've basically given up on... Ow. Come back. Uh, getting them to go in the water, so I've just made a hole here. It hurts, so it doesn't hurt much, so I'm not too bothered by it. Ah, there's one. Yes! So now we've got a basic model skeleton. You see how on the top left it has gone to basic model because I killed the last thing that I needed. And that spider has decided that it would be good for this. Let's go and have a look at the other place that I made. I said I'd do this between episodes. Okay, so I've done this. I've expanded and extended this. So I've made this channel here. If you stand at this corner, then enemies will, in time, spawn over there. And then you can go over there and whack them in the knees. It's working very well, as you can see. But the reason this ceiling is so low is that was a win. Uh, somehow, despite this being a slab on the bottom half of the block, look at the F7, right? No spawning. But a wither skeleton still chose to spawn in the passageway, so I chose to prevent it. One of the things we need for this, what this does is it runs a simulation program and produces the stuff that we've seen, the generalized nether stuff. We've currently got the... Uh, with a skeleton, as we've noticed, and this will improve. Oh, excuse me. This will Im this will improve over time. It's currently at the basic tier. It has to be at the basic tier before you can put it in here. But as it continues, see data collector twelve or forty eight. As it simulates it, then it will also improve. You don't have to basically go and kill any more zombies at this point. It will perpetuate itself. If you go and kill more zombies, it will do it faster. So if you sort of shortcut it. You need to put these things in. Prediction matrices, which are, as I've noted, well, they are made of the as noted soul steel, which I am very low on because it's very hard to make because we have to keep creating so much coke. Right? So I've got this bitumen sort of being imported here. Oh, it's literally just sucking it out of there. So as bitumen arrives, as a result of one of these two makes bitumen as a side effect, right? And refined fuel. Uh, it's going to be a problem, of course, because the refined fuel is going to get used up because I'm not using it fast enough. To, you know, I'm not using the energy fast enough. It's it's expensive to make the coke, right? So, ooh, 
bronze in there. Also, this is a lot faster. So in order to make the steel, it's one coke per steel, which is silly. There you go. It's difficult to get. I mean, we can go and dig up this red sand, granted, right? It, it, there's plenty of it. We don't have to rely on the byproduct of that other thing. That's a bit of a manual process. I was hoping to stick to the uh, automated process. Speaking of automated process, whilst that cuts, let's go and fix this. So one thing I wanted to do was use ender tanks. Is instead of running across the way, get this. This on it. Turn it. Yeah, so this will output automatically. And in case you're not familiar with the concept of an ender tank, all end tanks with the same colour, same on top. Uh, I'll put it down here and show you the colours. Uh, I say put it down here, and then I have no plan about where it's going to go. There. So uh, green, 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 right? So I've got a green, green, green ender tank. All ender tanks with green, green, green on the top will have the same stuff in them, and that's true of ender chests as well. All ender chests with the same colours on top will have the same stuff in them. So by changing the colours of them, you can change the inventory. There are 16 colours, so there are 16 to the power of three different inventories you can have. That is more than enough. No complaining will be accepted. What I do want to do now is start running pipes underground. And I know that under there is Brightstone, because that's what I did in the previous one. So I guess we'll make a basement that is going to be extremely shiny. No. <laughs> Behold! Greatness. So this is now full of tree resin. I didn't find the bright stone. I thought it was much... One more? One more? Uh, I accidentally dug this hole, so... Uh, out of sight, out of mind. If we go now back to crafting. There you are. You will find, I think, this Teleporter is a very laggy thing. Um, you'll find this end is also full of resin. And now this is full of resin. And I've hooked up this. So I've added... Mm, hello, I'm stuck in the hole. I've added another eternal purpose pipe. Let me out. Why can't you... Well, this is my life now. Um, I've added another universal pipe and I've added this. This is actually extracting from here and going into there. The other one, which I can't see, is now extracted from there and going into there. All of this is universal pipes just because this is fluid. We were making steel. That's so much more that than that. I could go and mine some more bitumen. Oh, I've already done it. Smart boy. That's why I was saying it was a manual process, because it's true. Presumably there is a use for steel that is not turning it into gold steel. Um, also, you can make amethyst fist shards in this thing. Very much fun. I think maybe we work on the other thing, which is um, one of my ore extractor upgrade tier 3. And this is kind of where I stopped because it was the end of the stream and also ah, more room required. Kind of why I dug out this back space here. Well, uh, I've added a couple more of these as well, um, in case you haven't noticed. This one is doing uh, deep slate, which is great. And this one is... Uh, um, uh, this one here is doing bright shards, which is also great because I can finally have forever amounts of torches. Yeah, there were yellow crosses there, which is probably why I was getting the occasional enderman, which is great. Nothing else has spawned, apart from every now and then an enderman will just show up in my base, say hello, and then get wrecked. So, kind of okay with it. This is a thing I haven't mentioned, uh, because I forgot about it. If you go down to bedrock... I've made a machine down there, and what it's doing is generating bedrock fragments. The thing is, it needs power. Hello. There you are. So you see, what you do is you put the deep slate in it, and the bedrock fragments come out of it. You have to put power into it. All of this is not available. And this is, I really want to get into AE2 or something like that, where I can say, can you craft everything else, please? Not just that one thing. This is only two, right? We need four flux blocks, each of which is five 
those, so that's 20. So I need 10 of this recipe. And then I need four times four, which is 16 of this recipe, which is another four of those four. So another 16 of that. Another eight of that. Did I just successfully do mathematics without thinking about it live on camera? And also we need the eye of Ender, which is a problem. Flux dust not found on you. Uh, one. <laughs> Two. Three. Ah, uh, right now. So Ender Pearls is not a big deal anymore, but the I... problem is the thing that we are doing in the other one is what's giving us Ender Pearls. We're going to put two of these. So I need that recipe twice more. Where is Obsidian happening? one of these. Hmm. We should have a drawer for obsidian. Right, try and produce it. Let's have a look at that. Whilst we're thinking. It's a lava okay, yeah. We've got the blast chiller. Well oh, that's doing right, I remember. We we set that up, didn't we? So we have the blast chiller over here somewhere. It's a bit annoying. Why are you there? Energy. Oh, I just put this down just to be somewhere. That can probably go up. Somewhere. Both of you can live. Actually, got a I've got another compression dynamo, and I'm just not using it. Another fluid tank, which contains creosote oil. That's probably why this compression dynamo is down here. I don't want this. What else can I do with creosote oil? Put it in a bucket, or you can burn it. That's it. And when that's empty, it'll get filled up with uh, fine fuel. Grand. Where was I? Blast chiller, right? This thing then creates obsidian by means of just lava and energy. If we put lava in this, then we can just export what comes out of it there. So I'm going to put it over here. I'm doing the cardinal sin, I know. I'm putting the thing against the wall. I bet through there. Oh, no, there's an extra layer. One of these fluid pipes contains lava. Not being able to see what's in a fluid pipe. A little bit, um, bit of a disadvantage. Got lava. Ah, good. Right, so now you're full. Use it as a bit of a buffer to be. Put this here. Oop. I'm filling it with lava from that. Great. Tank full of lava. This is wonky. That's okay. Then, this is the pipe that connects all of these together. Could have used a universal pipe for this. Yay! I enjoy it when there are exactly the right number of. Uh, we don't need auto output in there. That's obsidian. Uh, great. So now can we make some more of these? We want to make from hostile sticks and mixed seas. Do not have any... Oh, that way. Uh, the tinted glass, I think, is also salt. No, it's, that's what the amethyst is for. We get 12 in a pot. But also, you use them up quite fast. So 
This is what it does. It does this at this speed. Model accuracy, 7.83%. When this gets to 100%, the module accuracy will go up. You can see it's doing a little text version of the light. End of prediction. Told you. Um, and then it goes up slightly. So every time it does it, it gets a little bit better at predicting what a fight with an Enderman would be like. I'm going to go and get the Enderman better. Because two things will benefit us. First of all, we will be killing Endermans and therefore likely to get Ender Pearls. And then secondly, we'll improve our model for Endermen. I'm going to stand here for a while, uh, wait for the Endermen to spawn, and see what I get. Yeah. I told you it worked. Probably run out. Yeah, it's run out. But we've got 15% uh, accuracy. This is still a basic data model. Yay, finally. What we can do is we can get the Enderman one out of here, put that back in here, and then, see that's at 14%, and all I needed to do was kill a few more Endermen. Now, I can't be bothered waiting for some more of them. Instead of that, we can just make more of these Udars. Processing results. We have to do it twice, right? It's going down very quickly. I'm not a fan of that. Made an Enderman prediction. Huh. What do you do with this? Now you put it in the loot fabricator and it creates stuff. Right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm guessing it wants these. Yeah, I got it right. Um, you then take the prediction that you made. Put it in the loot fabricator. Yeah? Because using ender. I'm glad I made so many of those. Uh, let's do that then. We need another soul forge for that. Wow, we. Is that easy? Yes. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't worry about it. Chapter complete. So now, I don't know if this is automatable or we could try. Um, let's. First of all, are you actually getting? And oh my god, you lost all your energy from that, you meanie. Um, and then. This is one of the reasons why we needed so much energy coming out of here, by the way. Oh, you. Finding me your energy, please. So everything is outputting maximum when this is charging up. Goodness me, do they take a lot of energy. If I put this in here, I can just ask for four ender pearls when there's enough energy to make them. And then, uh, I, that seems manual. I'm not sure about that. Uh, have this back. You're going to drain all your own. So we need a lot of power to maintain that infrastructure. However, that's going to give me a lot of prediction for Enderman. Let's have a look at this blaze prediction then. You literally can just make blaze rods, right? So I don't, I don't really want this. You're already at basic tier. So everything that I have got, I've got everything I want. <laughs> Let's go back to what we were doing. Job done. Right. This is going to go in a Nor extractor, obviously. Flux controller, the heart of the flux network, wireless power, yes, please. This is actually going to help a great deal because a lot of our infrastructure in the way of itself is that power. And needing to uh, presumably power yet another ore extractor with the next layer in it going to get complicated here, right? This is already complicated with all of these things. Just item pipes and fluid pipes is already complicated. Adding this in, even more complicated. You're going to need to put the power in somewhere, but if you've got wireless power, you could just 
find it in the middle there, right? You could put it wherever it would fit. Way more important, way more interesting. Also, what are you doing? Am I using this? Should I be using this? I don't know. Let's take this off of here. Put it on. Right now you're getting energy. Let's put you in here. Got that stuff. Now you're an ore extractor. Um, it looks like I accidentally already set up this. Emerald fragment. Silver fragment. Uranium fragment. Diamond fragment. There we go. That's probably all of the things that we need. Next layer. Even more ores. Yes, brilliant. <laughs> uh, and we need another fragment combiner. Ah, here's a problem that I failed to notice. That charcoal farm is not keeping up at all. That's not enough coal to do anything with. Let's fix that. One of the, probably the principal reason why this is a problem is that each of these is pulling three different types of log, right? This has got acacia, jungle, and dark oak. This one's got oak, birch, and dahlia. So, there's well, first of all, these are not actually. Now look at it. I think the problem is that it's just not fast enough. This is rubbish. <laughs> this is a terribly slow way of doing it. One thing we can probably do is replace these with powered furnaces. With this redstone furnace, it's blaze rods, redstone, copper, bricks. How do we get clay? We've got bricks yet. Not sure. <laughs> Maybe? I think we've got clay. Um, we could make redstone furnaces. Which means we wouldn't need this contraption. We just need the flux plug, which is in our list of things. Let's not worry about that just yet, because in a minute, we're going to be able to power things all over the place. Let's, let's press on with what we were looking at. Ta-da! And then Electrum is silver and gold. Electrum is what we've been wanting because we need to charge our magnet. <laughs> so finally we can charge our magnet. Um, but not yet. Because I accidentally left this hooked up to this, I can actually ask for the ender predictions that are in here. What's going on? Oh, struggling. Struggling for power. Can't keep up. This is full. So we've got these ender pearls, which is great. So as long as we keep this selected, as long as the things we want go in there, it will continue to create the thing. Nice. So you're going to run out soon anyway, so I'm just going to let you glitch. <laughs> Bap around as much as you like. Not enough. Five sets of this. Oh, there's even more of that stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I screwed it up because I can't be bothered adding up all of it. You go in there. How's this look? Wait, what? I had loads. Is that enough? At least 20. <laughs> So mean to me. One, two, three. Oh, that's three. And. No, that's not that. Oh, that's one. <laughs> Job done. Job done. Oh, nice. We should have plenty of power now because this dang thing is filling up but not draining. Uh, so let's put. Do not have to be... Does it not matter where you are? No, I think this just can exist anywhere. It might as well live up here. So, the flux plug is expensive, but that's how you install... how you put power in, right? 
So we don't need the the storage because it's the, who cares? <laughs> Basically, it's just a, a wireless storage unit. It, it doesn't seem that valuable. I'm going to add it to the list, but what we really, really want is a flux plug. So let's start with that. It seems OP. Also, this is very expensive. Then, when we've got the power going, we can just plug this into it. And then we don't need to worry about moving this thing around. This is an it's OP when you've got it going, but the amount of effort put in to get it going is... It, you can see how it is to some extent not OP. Let's plug. Point. Removes energy. One more of that crap, which is four more of those. It's got three. <laughs> and done, we have a flux plug and a flux point. I think the first thing that we do with our flux point, go and charge the thing downstairs, making all of this possible. So, create a network, create a new network, that'll do. Yeah. Public, okay. Any color, there we go. And then do, go on, that network. Now you've got That's probably because we don't have anywhere to send it. So let's go down to the bed box. So if this works, everything's good. It's charging. It says zero FE. I think that might be the internal amount of energy that it has. But this is working. That's amazing. We can pipe into and out of this. We can put the deep slate in and extract the bedrock fragment via an ender chest, which would be very clever and interesting and useful. So this at least is now accelerate. We can make more and more of these plugs now. It's brilliant. Uh, and then we can start thinking about improving that power upstairs. We can improve all of those things that we've already created so that we don't have to have too many of them. So that's all up in the future. That will be in next stream. Uh, maybe some of this sorting out will happen in between episodes, but I can't guarantee any of that. <laughs> so don't hold your breath. Um, Thank you for watching. That's all we've got time for today, but I hope that you have enjoyed it. And I can have a like and a comment down below if you feel so inclined and subscribe. If you haven't, if again if you feel so inclined, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv. Just out to us there will be a link in the description below. Again, if you feel so inclined, and until next time, thank you very much for watching.